five common mistakes we see when using Xero. Now, some of you may or may not know, but we were top three finalists for Xero's small firm of the year, 2020 in the UK. I mean, we didn't win, which I'm fine about, completely fine about it. One, assuming your bank balance is correct in Xero. We see this all the time. People think just because their bank statement feeds into Xero that it agrees to their bank balance. Quite often, it does not. It's just the way that it is, it's technology, it needs to be checked. So you should be at least monthly checking that your bank statement balance agrees to your Xero bank balance. Number two, you find a mistake on Xero. Then you realize you've made that mistake on 100 transactions. Say you've used the wrong VAT rate, for example. You then go through and manually correct them one by one. No, 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 no. Find and recode is your friend. Do not adjust bulk errors one by one. Go into find and recode and you can do them all in one go. Number three, having automatic statement reminders set up. So if your clients are not always paying you on time, you should have this automatically set to remind them. You can choose how many days in between the reminders, but make sure you've got this turned on. Number four, duplicate contacts. Really, really easy to accidentally set up two records in Xero with the same contact because you've very slightly spelt them differently. Just go through and have a look in your contacts list and merge any accounts that are the same. And the fifth one is bank rules. These are really easy to set up, but if you have regular payments coming out of your account, you can set up a bank rule so that Xero knows exactly what it is, where to post it to, the VAT rate and everything, and that makes your bank reconciliation so much quicker. And obviously the biggest mistake of all of them is not using Xero in the first place.